I've just been sat sipping my coffee reading the guest book and we came across this this art piece that someone's wrote like someone's illustrated in the guest book look at that he's done this in pen I also brought Gingy to take some uh, cozy photos of him in the cabin so we are in a totally different location to what we usually are on this channel now the title might give it away I don't know what I'm gonna call this yet but basically me and Dean have come away to this beautiful log cabin in the middle of the Scottish borders and we basically have come for like a social media detox i realized like since opening catnip that i have pretty much been on social media solidly since 2015 like i'm on it all the time i'm always checking my feed seeing what you guys are up to reading my comments seeing my statistics checking my shop and i'm always in the on mode i mentioned this before in my vlogmas I mentioned how I never quite switch off and one of my goals for 2022 was to get a good work-life balance because I feel like since starting my business in 2015 um, even though I had like a full-time job and stuff at the time I've been on grind mode to try and get it off the ground running and then 2020 came along and I found what I actually ended up doing was throwing myself into work more uh, to try and pass the time and it was my way of coping and I love doing my work. But what I found was in 2021, I was still keeping up that momentum. It was a tough year for business with Brexit and the pandemic and everything that went on. Uh, but I was still trying to uh, keep up that grind. But then I also had a load of personal stuff going on as well. And then I ended up just being what felt like so chaotic. So my New Year's resolutions this year was to take a step back and try and live more simply and more organised. So I've actually been trying out the four day work week. I don't know if anyone's heard about this, but it's like a really popular trend at the minute. Um, and apparently it's meant to really increase productivity. And to be honest, I've been doing this since I came back in the middle of January and it has worked a treat. Now there's gonna be some times when you can't just work four days. And as a business owner, you'll have to work over, but so far, so good. I found myself being way more productive productive doing this method and I also use the Pomodoro method. Also I mentioned in Vlogmas uh, when I had a sit down chat with you guys I'll leave a link to that video down in the comments that basically whenever I go on holiday I'm never fully on off like I'm never fully switched off like you normally are with a standard job and uh, I always just check my social medias I'm always posting to social media it's because I love it as well I don't feel like I don't love it but I've realised that since 2015 I don't think I've gone a day unless I've been poorly without checking social media which is quite scary so me and Dean have actually been at this cabin for two nights already and there is zero phone signal there's not even a tv here we've brought the ipad and i actually brought the projector but it doesn't work because i need wi-fi there's no wi-fi there's nothing like literally you cannot connect online when you're in the cabin and i'm gonna be totally honest I actually have found it a massive struggle. I'm not even kidding. I didn't realize how much I actually relied on social media to kind of numb my emotions or numb whatever I was going through or just distract me. So I found myself kind of twiddling my thumbs here. Uh, Cause normally even when I watch like films, I don't know if anyone can relate, but if I sit down and watch a film, I'll end up scrolling through my phone if I'm not interested or a series or when I'm having a break I'll scroll through my phone and that constant picking up my phone it's just like it's actually scary I can't believe how much I relied on it and I was saying to Dean back when we were younger like especially as a kid wi-fi wasn't even a thing like it was like dial up internet and I think I was I was hitting the generation just as the internet started like kind of taking off and then I used to play on Neopets and Habbo and I've always been one of those people to kind of jump into the digital world whether it's like Habbo Hotel meeting my digital friends online and forgot what it actually feels like to not have any of those things to distract your mind. So I've actually been reading some books. I got this Good Vibes Good Life uh, by Vex King. And it's how self-love is the key to unlocking your greatness. And I also downloaded a book called A Court of Thorn and Roses as well, which actually was a recommendation from TikTok. Now, 
I love social media. I genuinely do. I've made so many actual real life friends on there. But this break is to kind of gather inspiration and try and do a reset. And I know on this channel I always share about business and motivation. But what I've actually found was taking a step back a little bit, I've actually got a lot more done since doing the four day work week. And since being more focused and not procrastinating as much, I feel like 2021 showed me trying to juggle all the balls, personal life, business life I ended up procrastin procrastinating a lot and working so many hours without anything to show from it because I was procrastinating I was doing things that weren't a priority and I wanted to reset again because I felt like in 2019 I got the balance really right and that kind of got thrown off kilter so this is me trying to reset and do a social media detox where I relax. Uh, we're actually heading out today, but I wanted to show you the cabin. This is what the outside of the cabin looks like. It's got this beautiful little porch area with a little uh, place to do a barbecue. A little place I was sat in the rain yesterday. I've been using a sweeping brush. It reminds me of like a Studio Ghibli film or something. This is pretty much the whole size of it. We've got beautiful stained glass windows here. Everything's kind of like a bit hodgepodge. I brought these flowers because it's Valentine's weekend. So I brought my own flowers. And I also got these yesterday, which I think he'll like from a really cute shop. I'm hoping where we're going uh, now, Berwick on Tweed will have some really cute uh, small artist shops. I always find places like this do them. And then we've got this uh, fire. We had this on, this actually warms up the whole cabin. It's now just embers. The little reading corners is where I've been reading my books. A beautiful little window. And when you look out of here, it's just like this little like alleyway, but like look at all the forest behind. We've got a little simple kitchen over here, a little toilet. And just up there is where we sleep. So it's literally just a mattress on the floor in this tiny attic space and there's barely enough um, space to actually sit up in. Anyway, now we're gonna head out into Berwick on Tweed. Hopefully we'll find some really cute little arts and shops. Feel inspired, I love looking at stationery and getting ideas for stuff for my own business. This is how I find inspiration most of the time. Uh, colour palettes like those cards there, I love the green and pink. Um, this is how I find inspiration and I like to share it with you guys. I know you guys liked coming away with me in the van where we did a little inspirational trip and this is one of those things where it's like that mindset reset and inspiration that we all need and living simply and calmly a lot more inspiration comes to you than when you've got such a chaotic mind so let's head off shall we
I've been back in the studio for quite a few days now and it's only three days left until I actually go away for surgery um, and I'm off for two whole weeks and I said to myself that this week was going to be a week of scheduling all my social media content, doing things like having some YouTube videos going up while I'm away. Um, but then I had the urge to draw Bon Bon because obviously when I get back, Easter will happen. And I thought, you know what? I really want to draw him. And I ended up sketching out some ideas for some stickers, like an Easter sticker pack. Bon Bon has seen like different versions of himself. And now I feel finally like he's a solid character. But I feel like I finally got like an established character for spring. spring is one of my favourite times of year. I say that about every season of the year actually now that I think about it. It's when my birthday is. My birthday is in April. Uh, so I always have really happy feelings about spring. It's when all the daffodils come out and all the pastel colours are everywhere. Uh, it makes me super super happy. So I'm gonna do the Bon Bon sticker packs. Now I wasn't going to do this. I was meant to just focus on scheduling stuff but I thought you know what I'm going to illustrate the rest of these. I sketched out the ideas so that they're out of my head and down onto my uh, program but I think I'm just going to illustrate them. <laughs> just lit a candle, got myself in the nice zone. I'm going to put on some nice music and illustrate Bon Bon and just relax for the next hour or so and spend time with Bon Bon at the minute. It's going to look so cute. Yesterday I did a really fun talk and it was my first talk in person so I've done talks before uh, but this was the first talk in person meeting people and it was so so fun I absolutely loved it I've seen some patrons who were there uh, like I'm a Kate hi I'm a Kate if you're watching this and it was just really really fun to actually meet people in person like-minded people and illustrators because I even spoke about this yesterday in the talk is when I started catnip in the small town I didn't know anyone who was like into illustration or anything like that but yeah it's just really nice to kind of meet everyone and I got settled in and did the talk and it was really intimate really small and intimate which I really like because I feel like if I went to do a talk with like 100 people it would have been way more stressful whereas I felt quite confident once I got into it I felt actually like my imposter syndrome kind of faded away a little bit more and I felt like I was actually adding some value and uh, we did like a Q&A session at the end um, it's definitely not my last talk I'll be doing some in the future but I am getting surgery in uh, a week by the time you're watching this I'll actually be getting surgery like tomorrow <laughs> like when this gets published uh, so fingers crossed everything goes according to plan um, so yeah 
I don't know if there's going to be a gap in my YouTube videos. The YouTube videos might be a little bit different from our usual studio vlogs. Like this one was a little bit different. But I wanted to still try and get some content out for you guys while I was away. And there wasn't like a two month gap of videos. Uh, I'll see you all very freaking soon. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.